Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Jovic. Many people throughout the Arklatex have been concerned about flooding. In Shreveport, high water is threatening homes near Cross Lake. NBC6's Julisha Gatewood shares one man's effort to save his home in tonight's top story. Ben Roberts' pocket, a small lake that leads into Cross Lake, has homeowners worried after storms dropped heavy rain on the area. Flood waters have inched closer and closer to David Wilson's home in the last couple days. And I've been through several floods and it seems like the same old routine. Wilson, who has lived on Lakewood Drive for 47 years, says he has made over 50 trips to Houghton, Louisiana to get enough sandbags to protect his home. Went over there with a couple of traders and probably got 300 bags apiece, uh, 600 bags at we couldn't do that in a day's time going to Arrow Drive. I've got to put another six inches, eight inches on my back. I need to be around four foot. That's what it did in 16. He says he's frustrated with the water department. He says the spillway gates need to be open to let water flow freely. I've been out here almost 50 years. Those gates are not wide open and not enough water's coming. William Daniel with the Shreveport Water Department says the gates are open and have been since Monday. Uh, we've gone so far as to announce it on our website and we're even trying to put a camera up because even when I tell people the gate's open, they go like, no, it's not. But with the help of friends, neighbors, and a few retired firefighters, Wilson believes his home will be protected. We've been uh, collecting sandbags and we've put a dam completely around his house. And last time this happened, we did that with pumps and we saved his house without our help. He, he would have a total loss here. I just hope that uh, we're able to complete this assignment by saving this man's house tonight. Yulisha Gatewood, NBC6 News. And with residents concerned about the rising water on Cross Lake, the city is working to prevent flooding, but they must also keep in the lake at an adequate level in order to supply drinking water to the area. The city's water and sewer director says the spillway gates are more than 60 years old and newer gates would certainly help to maintain water levels more effectively. The city is working on a grant with Louisiana DOTD to rebuild those spillway gates. Newer gates would be more reliable, okay? And uh, certainly there, there are probably designs that we could uh, utilize that maybe would help us get more water out of the gate faster. Right now when the gates are open, they can lower the lake water level about a half a foot a day.